so hi everyone and welcome to Under Pulse with Fingerprints. My name is Aida and super happy about today's guest. I have John Calzoreda with me and today's topic is identity on the edge. So let's say hi to John. Hi John. Good morning Aida, how are you? Hi, thank you so much. I'm good. So let's start with the introduction of yourself and Century Enterprises and uh, the platform that your company have built and um, that you provide today. Excellent. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you for this opportunity. So Century Enterprises is a US-based manufacturer of microelectronic devices. We're headquartered just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States, and we are the creators of the Century Card. And the Century Card, which we're gonna speak about today, is really a multifaceted biometric device that just happens to look like an employee ID badge. Uh, we're very proud of what we've built. We have numerous patents, both pending and issued on the Century Card, and uh, it, it has multiple utilities to it, multiple use cases, which, which I wanna speak about, uh, that are related to multi-factor authentication for access, whether accessing a building, a computing system, or wanting to know where somebody is inside of your location. But but allow me to come back to that. What What I really, want to emphasize today and the uniqueness of what we've built is the relationship to privacy standards. Uh, in conjunction with FPC, we are able to enroll, match, and store the user's biometric information solely with inside the Sentry Card itself. No databases, no servers, no external interfaces. And what's important about that is it allows us to truly pass muster as it relates to the GDPR standards in the EU, as well as the continually growing biometric information protection acts in the United States. So it is a biometric platform that has privacy at its core. Yeah. And now back to its utility, it has multiple purposes for it, right? So for enterprise businesses that are looking to ensure proof of who is coming into their buildings or their systems, we can provide that and, and in line with the topic today identity at the edge that's really the game changing element that we think we provide is that with the century card you will know through a biometric authentication who is using the card to get in the building or get into your systems so thanks for that introduction john that was a really good summarize of what you do uh so Continuing on, what do you see the latest market trends? Yeah, so so it's the the overarching trend that we've been seeing uh, and trying to stay ahead of for about five years is the concept of convergence. Uh, again, we're focused primarily today on the enterprise business uh, sector globally, uh, but dealing with large companies in the United States, typically in the Fortune 500 larger entities, and those entities have for a long time operated in different silos, meaning phys physical security had its own needs, information technology, operational technology, as well as human resources. Businesses are spending money on security, but in many cases, in, a, in as I would characterize it, in a disparate way. And what we're seeing more and more is a convergence of those silos into a unified security stance. And that trend leads perfectly into the use of a biometric platform like the Sentry Card, because again, we address physical entry, logical access, and the added benefit of tracking people. Uh, and if I can elaborate just a little bit further, and each one of them, some of the other trends are that you not only want to know who's entering your building, but in doing so, you don't want to spend unnecessary money uh, meaning the need to rip and replace your existing infrastructure to achieve yeah, that goal. So yeah. what's what's great about the Century Card is that we have built it in what we believe is the only open architected nature of anything like a biometric platform in existence, meaning it works with HID, it works with a, uh, NXP's DESFIRE technology, it works with Wavelengths and Brevo and the major manufacturers. It also works seamlessly with the uh, access control providers like Genetech and Linnell and RS2 and Software House. So it's it's universally compatible 
uh, all within a self-contained device. The other thing uh, related to logical access from a trend standpoint is moving to passwordless authentication. In the past two weeks, Microsoft came out with a strong stance on going pa passwordless, and we fully support that need. We believe the Century Card is the key to achieving that, and in doing so, we have built in the FIDO2 and KPI standards that really are the world leading standards for passwordless authentication. So the trend continues to be convergence within the organizations, and we believe a converged device is the greatest answer for that. Yeah, cool. It seems like it has lots of benefits and it's compliant with most systems, right? It is. It absolutely is. Yeah. It was engineered that way. So it, yeah. it, was not a, it was not a trivial feat of engineering, but our team has pulled it off. Yeah, and great. And we're commercially manufacturing in the United States. So this is, you know, the business is going on seven years old. So this is not a, an early stage for us. We are in a full commercial manufacturing mode now and filling orders uh, and building cards on a daily basis. Cool. So uh, let's talk about the biometric aspect uh, of the card and the relationship that fingerprints and Century Enterprise between the two companies. What do you think? Uh, yeah, what do you think of that relationship and, and, and the benefits of the biometrics in your access card? Yeah, sure. I mean, the card itself is is dependent upon the biometric aspect of it, right? So the partnership with FPC among numerous relationships we have for technology inside the platform is of paramount importance. The, the overall nature of the thinness and the robust security aspect of the FPC sensor is really what makes the Sentry Card platform possible. So we couldn't be more proud of the partnership. And, and as we tell uh, end users and our partners that are getting to know the Sentry Card, it's that we didn't reinvent the wheel from a biometric standpoint. We scoured the planet looking for the best partner and we believe we found it in FPC. And the fact that you have a billion plus sensors in the market already and the robustness of the technology made it a, a, you know, a no brainer for us to desire to incorporate. And now we are uh, you know, in full motion with the partnership. So couldn't be a more important partnership or piece of technology in the card. Uh, thank you, John, for your kind words. Uh, and uh, on behalf of Fingerprints, uh, we're super happy to work with you as well. Of course, of course. Thank you. So, sure. so John, I understand you have a demo for us today, uh, showing how this uh, access card works. I do. So I'm in my home office, so I'm going to switch cameras now and give you a quick demonstration of, of the different use cases. Great. Happy to see it. I'm quite eager. All right, let me switch cameras. So hopefully you can see my hand. And what you're looking at is a variety of the, the leading access control readers in the market from companies like HID and Wavelinks. And the basic demonstration is today, you're, what I'm holding in my hand is a traditional access control card. And as you may know, once this is issued, Somebody can walk up to a door, whether going into a building or inside a building, and that badge or credential will open the doors. The system does not know whether John is holding the card or Ada is holding the card. It just knows that the card is authorized. So with a Sentry card requiring biometric authentication for it to work, if I were to find this card and go to a door reader, nothing happens. Only when I biometrically authenticate using the fingerprint sensor does it light the lamp or open the door. So again, I biometrically authenticate and it opens. Without it, nothing happens. And if I use the wrong finger, it flashes to tell me that something isn't right. So that is a quick demonstration of physical entry using biometrics. What you're looking at now is a Dell computer that is loaded with access control software, logical access software. In this case, it's digital persona provided by HID. And I have a Dell computer that has near field communication on it, but for computers that don't, there are very basic NFC readers that you can utilize. So now for a logical use case, imagine the ability to biometrically authenticate, hold it to your, a Sentry card to your computer, and it logs you in. 
And then whether I have a session that times out for inactivity or the sentry card is removed, it logs you out. So imagine a world where we can eliminate username and passwords in order to access systems and move to something like a sentry card for frictionless access. And what I'm, what I'm really getting at is if you look at the security breaches that are taking place around the world, they are primarily due to stolen information, phishing scams, usernames and passwords being taken. With the biometric sentry card, I can prove identity of the individual and have it log me into my system seamlessly. So thank you, John, for showing this demo uh, for us. Uh, it was very uh, interesting to see how smooth this access card works, and I'm sure the audience thinks the same. So for the last part, uh, close and a summary, any, anything you want to add about uh, Sentry Enterprises or the personalized access card? No, other than uh, can't thank you enough for the opportunity, both in our partnership and for this opportunity to acquaint uh, your audience with our biometric platform. And uh, we can be found at centryenterprises.com if anybody is interested in more information. But thank you very much, Ida. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I'm sure everybody is happy to know more about Century Enterprises and all the benefits this, this uh, great card has. So, John, I believe we should have a follow up call in a couple uh, months time to see how everything has de developed, right? Absolutely. That would be my pleasure. Yeah. So thank you for joining me today, John. Thank you, Ida. Be well. Bye. Bye. Now.